agenda up here, help yourself, and you should, I promised you the last time, it was a really nice little helpful sheet for your cooperating teachers. Make sure you take a copy of that too. So there you go for that. Um, if you need extra copies because you've got multiple teachers, take extra copies. Now, the sheets I turned back to you from last time. I went through all of them, but the main area that I focused on was central focus. Because I wanted to make sure that you're getting your thoughts on the central focus. And you know, I had to really think of not putting a check mark on it, just that yeah, she, she or he did it, or right wrote good. I tried to be specific in my comments. So if it was good, what was good about that? If you didn't quite get there, what was it that I needed you to think a little further? So when you're working with students, work and you're assessing, how do you become more specific? Not just good. Good what? What is it good about that piece of work? So it doesn't matter if you're an elementary person or if you're an English person. You know, what is it that you do when you give specific feedback to students? So that's what I wanted to just share with you. That was the area I tried to focus on because that is the most important thing to get you driven on your ed TPA. You got to think what the central focus is to even get going. So that's where I, I kind of zeroed in on the last time. So tonight, um, that's all I have for announcements. The only other thing I want to just share, remember we're back again next Monday, back at the UC in the theater, you are scheduled there, and that is the whole professional career day. So, you know, remember that we are back again already next Monday. Okay, that's all I have. So Stacy, I'll turn it over to you. I think, I'll, I think I'll come over to this. So today we're going to talk about videotaping. Um, and we have a, some expert advice on videotaping. Okay, I just want to, and I know some of you did commute. Michaela McCoy? Casey Smith is not. Um, Amir, I know, is not. Gretchen Vaughn, I'm pretty sure is not. Um, Nicole Hollis, I know, is not. Lynn Lance is not. And Kate. Oh, Carrie Leibel, where are you again? Carrie, I wrote a comment. to do the ETK and ETK would be required for licensure. None, none of the faculty here knew uh, anything about the ETK. Some had a little bit of experience with performance assessments before, but we didn't really know exactly what it was. So a few of us decided let's complete an ETK in our own classes and see what it's really like. The best way to get to know what it's all about is by actually doing it. And so I completed an NTK in one of my classes here at UWRF, and all of my students in my class had to sign the video permission form. A little bit different with college students, obviously. And, uh, I'm sure you're having fun collecting those. And even though I was very proud
proud of um, the EdTPA in general. Uh, I was not proud of my videos. So what I like uh, to show my videos for is sort of a what not to do with videos. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I made with videos is that I videotaped the one class that I thought was going to be amazing. And I never videotaped before. And so I set up uh, the iPad one time and gave it a go and then tried to use that as my video. That was my biggest mistake. It's not practicing, not finding the best place to play, uh, best spot to place the camera. All the things that Tyler Christians is going to talk to you uh, in a little bit about, all the right things to do. I did all the wrong things. My best video example of that, which came up about half an hour ago, is not coming up. So I'm sort of sad about that because um, what you would see in that video, if it would if it would play, was from time to time you would see me, from time to time, but you would never see my students. So it looked like I was teaching the class to no one. Um, <laughs> And, and then I would walk in and out of the, the screen, the shot, and, you know, so it was, it was a terrible angle. It showed none of my students. And even though, if you know me, you know I'm incredibly loud, right? Um, so it picked up my voice, but it did not pick up at all any of the sounds of the students. So even though I could have promised in my ed TPA that I had wonderful student interaction, you couldn't hear the students. Or see them, right. So you think I was just teaching to them. I put two video clips in my NTPA. And this was my, um, when my students were working um, independently on a project uh, for the class, which is a great idea for you. In fact, I'm going to show you a great example of an NTPA that scored really, really high in our um, teacher preparation program. And she did a nice job. You're probably noticing something pretty obvious here, which is what? Right, where am I? I'm often not in the shot. And you can't hear anything at all. You can't hear what they're talking about. You can't hear what I, I, how I'm interacting with them. So in that way, even this video was not a good video for the EdTPA. So in hindsight, what I learned after I completed my EdTPA is what not to do with videotaping. Um, practice early and often, way before the lesson that you think is going to be your superstar lesson. Um, you want to have, have some video time in the classroom to show that. But I do want to show you uh, one of our teacher candidates who did an excellent job with her ed TPA overall and in her videos. And she gave us special permission to show these videos, or we received special permission to show these videos. So she also did two video clips. She completed her ed TPA in elementary literacy, but um, her videotaping strategies would work well for a lot of us. What else works well? You could hear, right? You could hear the questions she was asking the students and, and what information, and you could see her and the student in each shot. Now let's look at more of a whole group that she did, a large group, which was also well done. Here 
So that's just one example. But uh, some of us don't have um, a, a beautiful rug in our classroom. <laughs> and so we'll hear about some other ways that we can do some videotaping. So I've asked Tyler Christensen to come here uh, today because he does um, a lot with technology and videotaping. And he is going to offer you some suggestions about videotaping as well as um, some other tips about, uh, about um, uploading and making sure that your video works for Chaco Wire. Do you know what video camera technology is? Choose an iPad. And we've had a mix, you know, we've had a mix of different videotaping devices. Tyler might have more to say on that. I'm sure he will, but, um, but yeah, but that's what she used. <coughs> it's also what I use. I didn't get the, the results she did. She, she did, much, did a much better job preparing. 